Hello viewers, I am Dr. P. Vanitamani, assistant professor in physical education. Now I am going to speak about stress related disorders. Stress is the word common to everyone. Stress makes a man mad either good or bad. If anything is too much which is good for nothing. In this busy world from children to older people everyone is filled with stress. On the other way we can say stress is a pressure we are overloaded with something it may be good or bad that create changes among us both physiologically and psychologically that we can say both physical and mental. Anything that possess dispute or warning to our well being is a stress. Some stress do good and some stress do bad. Stress may be of different type that makes changes among us. There are many ways to overcome stress and there are treatment for stress related disorders too. First let us see what is stress. Stress is a pressure or tension exerted to a material or an object. The allotment of stress is consistent diagonally the slab. It is a state of mental and emotional twist ensuing from difficult or challenging situation he noticeably beneath a lot of pressure. It can be caused by both good and bad familiarity. When people feel like stress by something there must be some chemical reaction and changes that poured into the bloodstream. These chemicals give more strength and energy. It gives good energy but causes physical danger. Meaning of stress. Stress is a general term applied to various physiological and psychological pressure which is knowledgeable or felt by the people throughout their life. Stress is a conscious or unconscious psychological feeling or physical situation which comes as a result of physical and mental positive or negative pressure to overwhelm adaptive capacities. Let us see the definition of stress. Stress is defined as the state of psychological and physiological imbalance resulting from the disparity between situational demand and the individual's ability and motivation to meet those needs. What are the major types of stress? Let us see the various types of stress. The first one is survival stress. The phrase fight or flight before is a common response to danger in all people and animal. When a human being afraid that someone or something may be physically hurt body naturally react with the burst of energy so that there will be a better able to endure the dangerous situation fight or escape it all together flight this is the survival stress internal stress worrying about the actions can do nothing about or worrying for no reason at all this is an internal stress and it is one of the most important kinds of stress to understand and manage internal stress is when people make themselves stressed. This often happens when worry about things that cannot control or put ourselves in situations. Some will become addict towards tense, routine lifestyle and hurry that leads to stress. Then the third one is environmental stress. It is a response to the things that may lead to stress, pressure and crowding that in and around the family. Lower stress level results by identifying the environmental stresses, deal or avoid them. Then the fourth one is about the fatigue and overwork. It is a long way build up kind of stress and it is a hard toll and whole body. It may be due to working too much of hard jobs, school or home. The main reason for causing this type of stress is because of lacking in time time management or spending time for rest and relaxation. It is the one of the kind of stress to avoid and feel that is out of the control. Let us see what are the causes for stress. The public services, pitiable civic amenities in the area in which one lives can be the cause of stress. Insufficient or lack of communal amenities like inappropriate water supply, unnecessary noise or air pollution need for proper transportation resource can be quite demanding. Then the second one is life transform. Life changes can bring stress to a person. Life changes can be sluggish or rapid. Study life changes embrace getting older and unexpected life changes comprises demise or mishap of loved one. Unexpected life changes are extremely taxing and very complicated to cope. 
Next one is aggravation. Frustration is another cause of stress. It arises when goal directed performance gets jammed. Administration should challenge to take away barriers and assist the workforce to reach their goals. Then the fourth one is cultural, caste and religious conflict. This creates the stress. Workforce living in areas which are often prone to conflicts amid people based on the differences seen in their race, social group and creed to undergo more from nervous tension. In case of a religion, the minorities and the lower caste people, especially in India, are subject to more stress. Next one is personality. We can classify the people as type A and type B. The type A people will be, they feel responsible while comforting. They get annoyed by minor mistakes of self and others. They feel intolerant and detest in making. They also multitask and prefer to several things at one time. And the type B people, they are accurately conflicting and hence they are less artificial by stress due to the above factor. Then the sixth one is about the scientific changes. When there are any changes in mechanical fields, employees are under the constant fear of losing jobs or need to be adjust to technologies. It can be the source of stress. Then the next one is occupational changes. When a person rapidly switches to another job, he is under pressure to shoulder new errands sufficiently. Under promotion, over promotion, demotion and transfers can also cause stress. So now we can diagnose stress. A good general practitioner only able to diagnose the stress by the patient's symptoms itself and it may be diagnosed by other doctors with some tests like blood or urine tests with health assessment. Diagnosing the stress is a complex and it depends on uh, any factor. There is a wide approaches to diagnose stress that can be used by health professionals like physiological measures, biochemical measures and different questionnaires. Majority of the diagnostic methods subject to experimental error and viewed with caution. Interview are some of the practicable way to diagnose the stress and its effects. So some of the habits can remarkably help to relieve us from stress. The first one is regular meditation, then doing physical exercise and to have the balanced diet and to have good focused thinking and we should control our anger and managing the depression and know to maintain the calmness in stressful situation and to have positive attitude towards life and to have harmony towards the self and others. And how to deal with stress? Stress is anything that poses a challenge or threat to human being. Some of the stresses may be that leads to good. Without the stress, the lives may be boring and probably pointless. Mental and physical health will affect when the stress undermines. The term stress and stressor is an agent or stimulus that cause stress. Stress is that feeling under pressure and the stressors is the things we respond to the environment. Noise unpleasant people or the few examples of stressors. When the stressors are more of the stress occur. What are the health problems that related to stress? The first one is heart disease. Some research have proved that stressed out type A personality have high risk of high blood pressure and heart problems. It causes the release of cholesterol and triglycerides into bloodstream by increasing the heart rate and blood flow. Increased likelihood of smoking or obesity also indirectly increase heart risk. Sudden emotional stress can be as a stimuli for serious cardiac problem including heart attack. People who have chronic heart problems need to avoid acute stress and learn how to successfully manage life's unavoidable stresses. The second one is asthma. Some studies have suggested that chronic stress of parents may even develop the asthma in their children. One study looked how parental stress affected the asthma rates of young children who were also exposed to air pollution or whose mother smoked during pregnancy. The children with the stressed out parents had a substantial risk of developing asthma. The obesity. Excess of fat in the abdomen seems to pose health risk than the fat on the legs or hip and the high risk of stress seems to store it. Stress causes the to secrete higher levels of hormone 
cortisol and that seems to increase the amount of fat deposited in the abdomen. The next one is diabetes. Stress can aggravate diabetes in two ways. It increases the likelihood of bad behaviors such as unhealthy eating and excessive drinking and to raise the glucose level of the people with type 2 diabetes directly. Headaches is the common cause for stress. Stress is considered one of the most common triggers for headaches, not just tension headaches but migraine as well. Depression and anxiety. Chronic stress connected with the higher rates of depression and anxiety. Survey or recent studies found that people related to jobs were demanding work with few rewards that had an 80 percentage of risk of depression than people with lower stress. The stress created gastrointestinal problems. Due to stress, ulcers does not occur. However, it can make them worse if it exits. Stress is also a common factor in many of the other gastrointestinal conditions such as chronic heartburn and irritable bowel syndrome. Alzheimer's disease. Stress may worsen Alzheimer's disease that cause brain lesions to form more quickly. Some researchers speculate that reducing stress has the potential to slow down the progression of the diseases. Accelerated aging. The most important factor that accelerate age is stress and it has proven. When comparing to mother's DNA who were under high stress carrying of chronically ill child with women who were not. Researchers found that the particular region of the chromosomes showed the effect of accelerated aging. Stress seemed to be accelerate aging about 9 to 17 additional years. Premature death. Stress causes premature death. On a study, the health affects the stress to elderly elderly caregivers as looking after their spouse naturally, those people are under the great deal of stress. Here there are four stress relief tips. The first one is breathe deeply. Deep breathing for few minutes can calm mind and physiological stress response. While building in a specific time of relax, each day is good idea. One advantage to deep breathing for stress relief is that you can do it anywhere at the desk or in car or for instance. It recommends that breathe out one can relax a specific muscle group. Start with a muscle in jaw and the next breathe out. Relax the shoulders, move through the different areas of the body until feeling calm. The next one is stress occurs only worried about what to do next or regretful about something already done. So that is focused on the movement. Instead of worrying about the past, and to get some stress relief, try to focus on the present. One can calm themselves by bringing oneself to the present moment. Like while walking, concentrate and sense the moving of legs. And while eating, focus on the taste on the sense of the food. Come out from the stress, reframe the situation. Working in natural reaction will not help at all. Different perspectives in the action must be there according to the situation. Look at that time as an opportunity. A few minutes we don't have any other obligation. The fourth tip is to keep your problems in a perspective. Think about the things for which to be grateful whenever feeling stressed. We get stressed when we focus so much on specific problem that we lose perspective. Need to remind of the basic ways and it can be surprisingly effective method for stress relief. The five hours of stress. There are five core concepts or use the reduction of anxiety or stress. Recognition of the root and origin of the hazard or distress, education and consciousness raising. Relationship identified for reinforce assess relief. Then removal from the threat of stressors, managing the stimulus. Relaxation through techniques such as meditation, massage, breathing exercise or imagery. Re-engagement through managed re-exposure and anesthetize. Here, these are the some ways self-help for treating stress. Exercise. Exercise has been proven to have a favorable effect on the person's mental and physical state. For many people, exercise is an extremely powerful stress buster. Division of labor. Try to delegate the duties at work or share. 
if it makes requisite the likelihood of feeling highly stressed is significant and significantly greater assertiveness instead of saying yes to everything it can be done something well or something it not be responsibility alcohol and drugs in no way alcohol and drugs manage stress only it should be stop consuming completely or cut down caffeine coffee and other drinks which contains caffeine must avoid consuming nutrition intake of fruits and vegetables should be plenty enough and make sure that uh, health oneness and balanced diet time each day just an individual hands which should be utilized for sequencing the life relax and pursue with own interest breathing effective breathing techniques can be done with calm down the system and helps to relax talk explore the thoughts and worries to family members friends colleagues to those to the boss seek professional help consult the doctor when the stress is affecting the routine life prolonged stress can which is bad for physical and mental health relaxation technique relaxation techniques like meditation massage or yoga will help the people to be away from their stress stress management techniques stress can be managed remove change the way of stress or alter the stressful event stress impact can be lower on the body and learning of alternative ways of coping following one or more of these ways or the objective of stress management therapy reading self help books or attended the stress management courses can be achieved by stress management techniques with the help of counselor or psychotherapist for personal development or therapy sessions to manage the stress and to control the stress many therapies which helps to relax uh, such as aromatherapy and reflexology may have to be beneficial for good effect here are the some medicines patients will be under the medication only they were underlying illness such as depression or with any of the type of anxiety otherwise doctors will not prescribe any medicines if that is the case the doctor is actually treating a mental illness in such case antidepressant may be prescribed bear in mind that there is a risk that all the medications will do a mask to the stress rather than help you to deal and cope with that there are recent developments on stress and how to overcome from stress in a controlled experiment with the rats acupuncture was effective against the tunic chronic stress according to the report in the journal endocrinology with the results suggesting that the mode of action similar to that of anti anxiety and anti depressant drugs stress found to be influence brain networks and reduce self control children with the pets have less stress a pet dog may protect your child from childhood anxiety according to research published by the center of disease control and prevention stress appears to contribute to alzheimer's feeling stress increase the change of older people developing mild cognitive impairment which can be foreigner to alzheimer's according to the report published in alzheimer's disease and associated disorders coming to the conclusion of stress related disorders stress is a very painful feeling of everyone there are many causes for stress but it is in our hand to overcome plan for the day and future with this we may avoid some sort of stress good stress will give happy feeling even though it may harm to us we can overcome it from easily but bad stress will create some of the major problem like a proverb little drops of water makes a mighty ocean so continuous occurrence of stress will create a major health problem try to keep the environment happy and peaceful involve in various physical activities that will keep you free from stress be free from stress and live happy and healthy life thank you